So, clearly, over the last few, and probably for the foreseeable future, there's going to be a lot of updates just talking about what we have going on here, instead of the more, like, usual reptile comment, talking about a bunch of different species, like, in the, in the five lists, and, like, the species spotlights and stuff. So, with this, I'm going to actually do one to some type of critters that I really don't talk about a whole lot, half because I don't know nearly as enough about them as I do like a lot of snakes and even some lizard species, as well as I'm kind of testing out this room a little bit for both audio quality as well as lighting for this wall will basically be the podcast wall and I am working on people lined up, lining people up for the podcast. So hopefully I'll have, can be recording a few in advance and I can get that to you, but I'll talk about more of that maybe in like the first podcast to come out with that. But so without further ado, here's some stuff that I recorded when I first brought them home that I've been kind of sitting on for a little while just with all the craziness going on. So there's a little bit of a change of pace for this quick little video. Okay, so we're going to do another very rare invert video for everybody today. So this one's going to be about isopods. And while admittedly I am not the biggest expert when it does come to isopods, I know a little bit, just probably enough to be a little bit dangerous. Um, and our good friends that we met at the uh, San Antonio, not the San Antonio, um, the El Paso Show Me Your Reptiles uh, rept uh, show back in December uh, gave us these really cool, these are the clown isopods right there. You can see them right there. Yeah, they're really cool. They're doing really well in this setup. This guy knows, they know about isopods and they know about substrates. These guys are awesome and I already mentioned them a little bit in a previous video, but so what we have here is basically a perfect setup for these guys. I'm basically just going to move them from here to here to get them a little, like they're already well established. Like I could put them in a nice um, established terrarium and they'd be doing just fine, but I want them to kind of propagate a little bit more. So I'm gonna put them in here to give them a little bit more space and stuff. So in here we have an awesome substrate that Permian Exotics makes specifically for individual things. So this is their black. So the three different colors, the black is great for isopods, like th this works really well. And the red is more for like, um, uh, like, like ball pythons, more tropical species. And silver would be good for more arid species like a lot of the North American colubrids or even a bearded dragon. Um, but when you look at the substrate, it's really nice for isopods and inverts. You can see all that vegetation. Like you can, like when you crack open the bag, you can smell it. And that's something that's really, really cool. That's great for invertebrates, specifically isopods. So what we're gonna do is one-handedly, of course, we're gonna pop these guys open. And I'm just gonna straight put, apologies. I'm just gonna put, oh, yep. You can see a couple little guys crawling around in there. I'm going to just put all of this into the little tiny mini Exoterra. They're doing really well. Let's see. Yeah. Just put that in there because there's a couple like little babies running around. You can see, look at that. They're just crawling around. They're doing so well. He has absolutely amazing colonies of these that he already gets started. Little fresh carrots. Um, they don't have to be only carrots. Um, the carrots just work as a very inexpensive um, little food source, but you can do all sorts of different veggies. Um, and it is good, just like anything else, to uh, vary their diet. Look at how cute that little guy is. Look at him. These guys are super cool. Like everybody likes the rubber duckies and the dairy cows. These guys are super cool. They like it pretty humid as compared to like some of the more common ones, like the powder blues and oranges. Um, so you gotta make sure that you keep their humidity up really well. But look at how cute these little guys are. They're so adorable. So we'll put him in there. Right? No, nope. come on. Come on. Come on. There we go. He's in there. So yeah, this is really, really cool. So just want to do a quick little, whoop, there we go. Get the camera back in focus. Just do a quick little video of showing these guys setting up. That way I can get them propagating a little bit and I'm going to be able to plug them into a lot of the other terrariums that we have here. So as you can see, we're, you know, in the new facility, but the setup is very similar to how it was back before. There we go, looks a little bit better. Um, fighting humidity a little bit more in here than I was in the previous one, but I'm, I'm working on that. So these guys hopefully will be great additions to a lot of the terrariums that we have here, like for the day geckos and stuff. Yeah, there they are, they're so cute. 
And look at that, they're doing so well. Big, big, big shout out to Permian Exotics. Um, they're, you know, down in the, de in the Texas area. So, um, you know, for us Colorado people are further north. I don't know um, how much we'll actually see them, but they do ship. And these guys know their stuff for substrate and for uh, isopods and inverts and things like that. These guys are really, really cool. So, just wanted to show you that. Give a cool little update that we work with more than just snakes. We do a little bit of inverts and stuff too. Um, and yeah, just wanted to show this off really cool. I really like the clown ones. They're super cute. Hope everyone's having a great day and we will check you next time.